Hey, thanks for coming by Tori Magoo 44. It is December 6, 2009. And for everyone that has left the Church of Scientology or helped assist people in getting out of this, the Church of Scientology, I want to thank you. A lot of stuff is going on, as you've seen all over the internet. I want to answer a question that people call me about all the time, which has to do with either their family or their loved ones being in the Church of Scientology and what can they do, right? There's actually, it's a tricky thing because they're in, like I always give the example, the Truman Show, I know you've heard it before, but it's, ve it's a very good reference in that you can't see the walls when you're in Scientology and when you first get in, they build in these walls so that you're not listening to anyone else that has anything bad news to say about Scientology. That can be facts, absolutely straight facts, but no, you're not supposed to listen to them. It'll ruin your chance to get to freedom. Will it really? No, there isn't a road to freedom. It's a road into a ditch, and it costs a lot of money, okay? But you can't really say that to your friend or your family member who's in the Church of Scientology because they're not going to listen to that, are they? And if you've tried to talk to them, you know, mm -mm, ain't going to go. First of all, forget Zeno. Because, first of all, the 80% of the people in the Church of Scientology have never heard the word Zenu. They don't even know what it is. There's only, you know, so many thousands of OTs. So most of the people that have ever gotten into Scientology haven't heard the word Zenu. So there, it's not really a great thing to bring it up because the other people lie and say, you know, are you really going to believe all that stuff? Secondly, it you know, then they can call you a religious bigot because technically that's their religion, even though, you know, it's total science fiction. But whatever, they have enough abuses that are really free spree and, you know, human rights abuses that you can just stick to those. I mean, what about free speech? Your creed, you can say to them, you know, how do you feel about freedom? I mean, your own creed of a Scientologist says man has the inalienable right to free speech and free thought. Okay, so if that's true, why can't you read a book? Why can't you watch a video I want you to watch? You know, first ask them, will you watch it? No, I don't want to. I'm not interested. All right, I, I got it that you're not interested, but I'm interested in you hearing this side of it. I really want to know your opinion on it. I need to know that you know this stuff. And then if you really listen to it and you hear these various different videos and then you decide you want to stay in Scientology no matter what, that's a different issue, okay? Because they have a right to do that. But they, but it isn't right to keep them in there without letting them see both sides. That's my opinion on it, okay? So start with freedom. Start with, you know, they're really big on word clearing, right? Get out the dictionary. What's the definition of freedom? Let's look it up. Let's clear it up. Let's make sure we're on the same page on it because we might not be, right? And, uh, you know, clear up what the definition of freedom is and then talk. See if you can get them to watch. I would at first go to like XenuTV.com or um, any of the various critical websites around the Internet and watch the different videos and see if there's some where you think this would be perfect for my mother or my brother or my sister or my aunt or my uncle or my business partner or whatever, right? And then see if you can get them to watch various different videos. Because to me, I can name some that are, I think are fantastic, but they might not be right for your, your loved one, right? But you can watch them and you'll pretty much know, yeah, this is right on the money. And there's a ton of them. If you're newly out of Scientology, welcome, first of all. And I highly recommend you do start educating yourself about all the stuff that Scientology has kept from you. Because they have kept a ton from you. And that includes going to various different websites from xenu.net, which has a message board where you can go read a lot of lot of information, right? X -Sci -Sci Scientology, which is excn.net. That's a lot of ex Scientologists go there. Why we protest for critics and anonymous who want to learn more about that and pickets. If you want to know where the pickets are, they have them there. Um, Aaron Saxton is a new person who's newly out and has some fantastic information. If you haven't bought the book, Blown for Good, get it at blownforgood.com or Nancy Maney's book, My Billion Year Contract, which for the Sea Org members, they do sign a billion year contract. 
All right, so that's at mybillionaire.com. Mybillionairecontract.com. Okay, so anyway, I hope that helps you. Let me know. Give me some feedback on it if you try it and what happens. And I hope you all are doing well. I'm off. I'm going out to see my friends. Talk to you later.